Welcome back to Photography by Harrison and today we will continue testing out the Panasonic FC 1002 and what I'm going to show you in this segment is again the 4k crop and, and the HD crop it's the exact same scene shot from the exact same location so you can see the crop and how it might affect you when you're out shooting and also I shot stills from the exact same location so you can see how sharp the stills are at, at the wide angle and when you zoom in. That way you have a realistic idea and the reason I'm doing this, I was watching a lot of reviews and they kept saying, you know, there's a crop in 4K and there's a crop in HD, but then that would show you what that crop actually looked like in the camera. So that's what I want you to see, the real crop. So yeah, you're buying a camera that's 25 to 400, but when you're shooting in 4K, and that's the main reason why we buy this camera, it goes from a 37 to a 598. Now, sometimes I know you might need that 25. I know a lot of people saying right now, well, won't you just back up? Well, a lot of times if you're in a small room, you might not have anywhere to back up to, or if you're on the edge of a highway, you might not have anywhere to back up to. So I just want to show the crop to you so you'll know exactly what you're getting into when you get this camera. But overall, this my fourth day of having it. I ran it for a week, and I will admit, so far, it has performed better than the FC2500 I ran it. At least on the steel ends, the steels are sharper. So with that being said, I'll see you on the other side of the test. This is an image stabilization test. This is the HD video. We're going to zoom in from 25 to 400 millimeters. We'll also be checking the focus while we're doing it. Well, actually, since there's an HD crop, we're actually zoomed in to 448 millimeters because of the HD crop. Now we're going to zoom in to show you the 4K crop. This is the wide angle, 25 millimeters, but because of the crop, it's actually 37 millimeters. Now we're going to zoom in to check the focus. And because of the 4K crop, our 400 millimeter is now 492 millimeters. Again, to show you the HD crop, on the wide angle, our 25 millimeter becomes a 28 millimeter. I'm going to zoom in all the way. Our 400 millimeter becomes a 448 millimeter because of the HD crop. And this is 4K, and 4K because of the crop. Our 25 millimeters become a 37 millimeters. And when we zoom in, our 400 millimeter becomes a 592 millimeter. And all these, this video was shot in aperture priority with a maximum ISO set of 1600. The aperture is set at F4. This is an HD, and because of the HD crop, the 90 millimeters become a 107. And as you can see, although the focus box is around the monkey's face, it will not focus on the monkey's face. But it finally recognized it and locked in, and this is the HD video. Now this is in 4K video. And in 4K crop mode, my 90 becomes a 136. But as you can see, though, in this particular shot, it grabbed the face immediately. That's one of the things about Panasonic. Sometimes it will lock dead on, and sometimes it just takes its own sweet time. This is the 4K crop. This is a close-up of a flower shot in HD video. And this is the same flower shot in 4K video. This is a close-up of these leaves in HD video mode. Of course, now this is shot in 4K video mode. Can you tell the difference? For this test, we're going to use the highway signs as our focus point as we zoom in from wide 
tight and this is HD video mode. We're also going to check the image stabilization in HD. This is the 4K mode. Again, we're zooming in from wide to tight. And we're checking not only the focus, but the image stabilization. Can we tell the difference between HD video stabilized and the 4K video stabilized? Well, what do you think? Leave your comments below. And also, while you're down there, don't forget to hit the notification button and also hit the subscribe button. And if you like what you see, leave a thumbs up because that motivates me to go out and do more videos. And if you don't like, if you don't like what you see, it's perfectly fine to hit the thumbs down, but just tell me why you don't like it. That way, I can, that will also motivate me to go out and do more videos. Maybe next time you'll like them, because I've said it before and I'll continue to say it. No one knows it all when it comes to photography, and the more you learn about photography, the more you learn you didn't know. And I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey, and I will see you next time with more video and stills showing you what the FC-1002 can or cannot do. Well, in my, well, I'm, I'm going to show you the best that I can what it can or cannot do. I'm pretty sure there's other people out there are more familiar with this camera that can show you more things it can and cannot do. But I'm going to show you things I think it can and cannot do. But actually, I'm going to show them to you, but I'm going to let you make your own decision. Because I, have, I said this earlier, I still think this camera, when it comes to pure lens sharpness, is it was the lens is sharper when it comes to still pictures than the FC25 that I ran a month ago. So at least it has, in my opinion, it has that going for it. And for me, that's very important because I'm big in stills. Yes, I'm in the video, but stills are still my first love. So I still want the pictures sharp because I haven't because I haven't figured out with FC25 why would the video be so sharp using the same lens, but the pictures were not that sharp. But so far, I think with this camera, the video has looked pretty good, and the stills have looked pretty good too, because remember, there's no perfect camera that does everything perfect. But that being said, I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey, and I will see you next time.